Check this out. See all those birds, how much they're attacking that tree? Now, that looks just like a normal, messy palm tree to you guys. And you and I would look at that and go, well, okay, it's a palm. I live in Vegas, by the way, so that's why I have palm trees. But um, look at these birds. They're just going nuts here. Well, little did I know that those are saw palmetto plants. Now, you guys who try to, like, pump up at the gym and get all virile and have these, you know, I, I want to get horny pills, that's what that is. Did you guys know what that plant looks like? I'll bet you none of you guys who take saw palmetto even know what a saw palmetto plant looks like. It's a palm tree. And have you ever tried the berries? Oh my God, they're sweet as hell. They're the most amazing berries you could ever eat. Well, my friend Matt and I just took, put a ladder up there and got a whole bunch of them, and we went to town on that stuff, and it works. I mean, <laughs> not that I need it, but the point is, the point is, and this is really cool, when my girlfriend moved in with me, a chaseberry plant started growing up in my backyard. All around LA, which is a very stressed out city, St. John's wort started growing. And that calms people down. Nature seems to know what you need. And it pushes it up out of the ground and says, here, take this. You need this. And what do we do? Ew, it's a weed. Kill it. You know, spray it. Kill it. Maim it. Get rid of it. And we're, we just have no clue. This is like, it's like somebody giving you a cute little kitten and you, and you, and you want to kill it. It's like, this is a gift. This stuff is a gift. There is no such thing as weeds. Everything that's in nature has a purpose. And we've lost so much touch with that. And that's why I created this video. Because here we are. You know, I meet people that are afraid to eat an apple. But yet they're willing to eat apple pie. Or go to McDonald's and get an apple, you know, sweet thing. <laughs> it's, it, it boggles my mind how much we've lost touch with nature. And I've actually had American Indian elders come to me and say, come teach our people about how to live off the land. And I'm going, this is an Indian asking a white guy how to live off the land? <laughs> We have, mankind is like, man, if we don't change in the next few years, we're screwed.